Hey, did you know that 5 to 10 percent of women suffer from PCOS? PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome. In the past few years, this diagnosis has become frequent and now many women are worried, do I have PCOS? Am I going to have PCOS? Is my daughter going to have PCOS? Well, all the information you need to know is in this video. So hang on. Welcome to All Round Health Talk with Dr. Onyinye. Before I go right into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a video. Now, PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, is basically what the name implies, polycystic, multiple cysts in your ovaries. Now, let's imagine cysts are like tiny sacs filled with fluid. So imagine your ovaries filled with tiny sacs that are containing fluid. That is what a polycystic ovary would look like. And so poly means many cysts is because they are sacs that are filled with fluid and they're called cysts. Now, it's a syndrome because it has a combination of signs and symptoms, which we will see as we move forward. Now, what happens with PCOS? Let me state that every man and woman has male and female hormones. So for me as a woman, I have male hormones. I just simply put, I have more female hormones than I have male hormones. And a man has male and female hormones, but they have more male hormones than they have female hormones. So now we get what's happening here, right? Now, what happens is that when PCOS occurs, we're looking at a problem with the level of male hormones in the female body. Scientists are not certain why this happens, but there's evidence that suggests that the enzyme that controls, that keeps our male hormones at bay, malfunctions. And so the male hormones go crazy and now they are excess male hormones in our body. Oh, I should tell you, male hormones are called androgens. Now we have so much androgens running helter skelter in our body. What does this androgen do? It increases our risk of having heart diseases. It increases our risk of being obese. Then it makes our body resistant to insulin, which means that we can have excess sugar and suffer from diabetes. But you know what it also does? It also makes us have more male futures than female futures. But there's something crazy that these androgens do. Because there are so many in the body, some of them might be converted to estrogen, which is a natural female hormone, Remember, we already have our female hormone, but now this androgen is converting some of itself into estrogen, making our estrogen excess, and this can thicken the walls of our uterus, making it impossible for us to get pregnant. So now you get the idea of PCOS. So what this ex excess ho male hormone does in our body is to cause all these changes and obviously make it difficult for our ovaries to do their function because now they are filled with these tiny sacs. Um, of fluids and and they're swollen and they cannot really function well right so this is what happens with PCOS now I think you're probably asking when does this happen generally it will happen at puberty but as we get older it worsens so most people are diagnosed during puberty and others are diagnosed as they advance in age now what does this look like physically to you as a woman right you want to be able to suspect when you have PCOS because when you suspect it, then you can go to the doctor and get help. So here are the signs and symptoms that you will see. Now, because we have this excess male hormones, we're now going to start having problems with our menstruation. Now, if it occurs in puberty, this girl might never have a menstruation because this excess male hormone will also make it difficult for our ovaries to release egg, which is what we call ovulation. Why won't they release egg? Because they're filled with these tiny sacs that are causing so much problems. So the girl might not ever have a menstruation if she's diagnosed at puberty, but if she's a girl who has started her menstruation before um, suffering from PCOS, then she will have very irregular menstruation or her menstruation will stop. So now we have one problem with our menstruation. Now, what's the next thing? Because we have so much male hormones, we're now going to start having signs of what is called masculinization, which means that we tend to be, um, have more male futures 
like acne and excess body hair growth. So now you're going to have excess body hair growth on your chest and your face, just like a man would. Aside that, because now we have excess insulin in the body that the body doesn't want to use because now we have excess male hormones, we tend to get fat. So most women will increase weight and at the end of the day might have diabetes. Something else that this excess insulin will do is to make certain parts of your body become dark. So you would see, for example, the nape of your neck, your armpit, and where you have skin folds will begin to look dark. These are signs of PCOS. But then there are other things that you might suffer from. You might begin to notice that you're so fatigued, you have very low energy, you're having problems sleeping, your mood is all over the place and you're just unnecessarily tired. Now, these are signs and symptoms of PCOS. Why do you need to know this? Again, because if you know, then you can look for help. Now, if you notice a combination of these symptoms, what do you do? You head straight to your doctor. What's your doctor going to do? He's going to do physical examination. He's going to do an ultrasound, and he's going to do tests to check your hormonal levels. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, treatment will have to take place. So treatment will involve exercising because we need to lose that weight. You have to eat healthy, uh, healthy food so that you can also lose that weight. Apart from that, medication will include birth control pills. Now you might be asking, why do I need birth control pills? Because they will help us regularize the hormone levels, reduce acne, reduce excess body hairs, and help us regularize our menstruation. So you might also be given metformin because of the excess sugar that your body will have. Now, apart from that, if you have um, infertility, certain medications will be given to increase your chances of getting pregnant. And obviously, if there is no response to this treatment, surgery is the next step. But why is this topic important? Aside knowing what the symptoms look like and getting help immediately, there are complications of PCOS. As a woman, you're going to have increased heart problems, high blood pressure, maybe a stroke, maybe a heart attack. You're going to end up having diabetes. You're going to have pregnancy-related problems. In the case that you get pregnant, because most people become infertile, in the case that you get pregnant, you might end up having gestational diabetes, which is diabetes during pregnancy. You might have a preterm delivery, and that comes with its own complications for you and for your baby. And you might have what we call preeclampsia, which is uh, an increased blood pressure during pregnancy, and it also comes with its complications for you as a mom and for your baby. This is why we need to be informed. When we have the information, then we know how to act. When we have the information, then we can start taking care of ourselves. And that's what this channel is all about, to educate us so that we can have the right information to make the necessary changes in our lives. I hope this video has been really helpful to you. Please don't hesitate to share it to other women out there who need to hear this information. Also, like my channel. Leave me any question you have and I'll get right back to you. And most importantly, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you can't see my videos. So please subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.